three, two, one. Hey everybody and welcome back to Split Couch Games. I'm Scott. And I'm Ben. Sorry. Holy fuck. <laughs> Got really distracted. Hey everybody and welcome back to Split Couch Games. I'm Scott. And I'm Ben. And I did that on time this time. I totally didn't fuck it up like two minutes ago. I mean, you know that's going to go in before the intro, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said this part. <laughs> anyway. Um, God damn it, Ben. We're 24 podcasts in, and Ben just forgets everything. I am... I... I can't refute that. I, okay. I was going to, but I was like, that, eh. But it's okay, because this actually leads into our topic of conversation today. It does. Uh, our number one podcast fan, Red Viper. Uh, excuse you, Viper the Red. Get his fucking name right. Well, that's embarrassing. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Viper the Red. Um, wow, how did I fuck that up? Anyway, um, once again, also leads us into this conversation. <laughs> because uh, he, uh, Viper the Red wants to know... Uh, where uh, how we met and uh why we decided to start a youtube channel and it's moments like this that both of us are like we don't fucking know <laughs> it was a terrible idea really but we did it anyways the friend the friendship or the youtube channel the youtube channel <laughs> oh i was gonna include the friendship in there but i mean if you want to be a dick sure uh, i mean that's what our friendship is based upon really i guess <laughs> we're actually like nicer than i thought we were gonna be on the YouTube channel to one another, like some let's plays, like we got like a little, 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 uh, little bit of vinegar in there. Well, a I, salt. I, I think part of that for a while was because we realized that when we were just like our normal selves, where we're giving giving each other shit all the time, it doesn't come across well in the let's plays. Yeah, like it, we just end up legitimately sounding like we're pissing each other off. Which, I mean, I suppose has its own entertainment value and everything, but that's yeah. okay. Anyway. I don't... Uh, our Let's Plays had very limited entertainment value for a long time. I mean, I still feel like Mirror's Edge, both the first one and the second one, were probably our best, best Let's Play series. I don't know, man. Super Mew Boy is really good. Yeah, but I think that's good. Just like, it, it has its moments, whereas sure. I feel like Mirror's Edge is pretty solid throughout. But anyways, we're already Dang. getting like way off topic. We need to well, we I mean, need to actually address the issue that we've been asked to address. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's fine. I already fucked up his name, and I don't. I, oh god, Viper <laughs> anyway. the Red. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so Ben wanted to tell the story from his side of how we met, and then I'll tell mine. And yeah, you'll add any info or anything that you feel like needs to be added. Um, so I, it's not like really a super interesting story at all. Um, oh, hey, hold on. I, I was quintuple oh checking his name. Sorry. Apparently, he's added the word streams to the end. I don't know if you care, but it is now Viper the Red streams. That so makes I sense. He... I actually, he uh, he's starting to stream uh, some PS4 games on YouTube. Oh, um, nice. Shout out to his streaming channel. You guys can check him out if you guys want. I guess. Yeah. But yeah. no. Anyways, back on topic. Um, how we met isn't really like super interesting because it was excuse you well i, I mean <laughs> just from the same point that it, like all it really was is um it, we worked together basically to put it plain and simple and we worked in like the same department but on uh, two different teams essentially well oh, oh, um, hold on but, hold on hold but, on hold but, on but hold your on. team helped out my team a lot and hold, hold on the important part is you basically ended up being my replacement because i left that other team yeah but but see here's the thing it wasn't so much that you left the other team and then i showed up 
it was like i showed up we were friends for like like we kind of like i sat next to you <laughs> for like two days no, no no it was a little bit longer than two days was it i feel I like it was i think it was like about a week may- okay maybe yeah a because week tops. it was like a week and like i was like oh we're getting super buddy buddy and i was like oh man I, i'm so glad like i have a friend here who you know has a similar uh sense of humor to me because you know we both have kind of <laughs> weird sense of humors so i was pretty excited and then like we had a guy on my right who did not have the same sense of humor as us yeah we'll we'll call him carl damn it carl (laughs) anyway carl no i've hung out with him outside of work recently and he's uh he's much happier now that he's not there anymore oh okay and And like and and what about the other tom Uh, <laughs> just making up names to yeah, you know um, protect the people. He he he's on my bus going to work nowadays. Every once in a while, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't know if he recognizes me, but like I I kind of like, we've never made eye contact, but I kind of like glance over to make sure he doesn't like he's not on his way because I will fucking sprint the other way if he does. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so you know we were friends, and then like you moved and like yeah like even though you moved like you were still technically on our team because like the transition wasn't fully made but you weren't like able to tell anyone and obviously we didn't know each other well enough to like for you to be like oh hey by the way like this is going down (laughs) by the way i'm leaving (laughs) and so like but like you were like oh yeah it's gonna be really great working together and i'm like yeah it's gonna be great and then like one day i just find out like I'm on a different team, or like that. Ben's on a different <laughs> team, and I was, I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you said, like I, I couldn't tell anybody because it was, it was maybe like a a day or two after you started working there was when I sat down and talked with our or with the lead of the team that I was transitioning to, because mm-hmm. the team that you were on and the team that I was on for a long time before I switched. Uh, helped out with the team that I moved to quite a mm-hmm. bit. Um, and they had uh, better opportunities for me and everything. Um, so I, at any chance I could get, would punch my microphone apparently. Um, I, w- <laughs> I would, you know, like inquire if there were like any openings on their team and that kind of thing. And it just so happened that around the time that you were hired on, they also uh, conveniently were looking to, you know, fill a spot. Mm -hmm. So like you started working there and then I had a conversation and then it was like another three days or something to essentially complete the transition. So, yeah. But anyway, um, so Ben abandoned me. Basically. I was Um, like, you know, that guy is really fucking annoying. Um, (laughs) I'm just going to peace out. Yeah, you pieced out real far away, too. Like, literally, like, three feet away. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think I In moved In fact, it was probably worse that, like... One row. Yeah, you, like, moved, like, one row. And it was pro- actually probably worse for everyone involved. Because, like... Th- like, before we could, like, just turn and talk to each other. But, like, we had to, like, stand up to talk to each other. <laughs> well, yeah, you would usually stand up and start talking to me, and then I would be like, is someone saying words? Because, like, there was enough, like, computer monitors and stuff between us that yeah. I couldn't hear you most of the time unless I stood up. But, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, it... <laughs> so, anyway, so, during that time, uh, we kind of figured out that we we argue a lot. And we also enjoy playing games together. So we just kind of like eventually discovered that we both had capture cards and microphones because we had both done some YouTube videos in the past. And then I was like, I think it was, yeah, it was Gears of War Ultimate Edition was coming out. And I, I was super excited about it, obviously. I don't know if you guys know that I'm a big Gears of War fan. Um, But, yeah, so I was like, hey, we should play this. And you were like, "Mm, yeah, maybe. 
and I was like, you yeah. know what we should also do is we should make a Let's Play. And I said that thinking to myself, man, I've said that to like four or five friends in my past because I've always just kind of like wanted to make YouTube videos with someone. And everyone's like, eh, not really. And then you were like, actually, that sounds like fun. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you uh, definitely, <laughs> you were not expecting that type of answer. And I wasn't. I, I, I don't even, I, I don't think it was even quite like that. I think it was just like, we were talking about something kind of like pseudo related to YouTube. And then... I'm fairly certain, like, it wasn't even, we were talking about Gears of War and you said, we should do a Let's Play, but, like, we were talking about YouTube. Like, we may have been talking about, like, Toby Turner or something, because um, I know that, like, he had just recently released, like, some video that was kind of going around and everything, because um, I, I believe... Th this was before Yeah, the this whole was before his whatever whole controversy. ordeal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and... I think we were talking about that or something, and then you you just kind of turned to me and said, you know what, we should start a YouTube channel. And I was like, you mean like Let's Plays and stuff, or something else? And you are like, yeah, Let's Plays. And I was like, okay. Sure, you, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't remember the exact I guess, details, I guess, yeah, I you're probably some... You're probably right. And then we were trying to figure out like what we were going to play. And then at some point I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm really excited for Ultimate Edition. And you're yeah. like, eh, yeah, I'm like somewhat excited. I'm like, we could do it for the channel. And you're like, yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's how it went. Because I know that we, we had several, like, lunch meetings where we sat down and talked about, like, what we wanted to do, release schedule, all that kind of stuff. And we spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yeah. A lot well, of time. I mean, <clears throat> part of that's just simply because the nature of our job um, had a tendency to create unpredictable schedules um yeah <laughs> and that made it obviously difficult to record because yeah. you know if you may not get home until you know like 9 p.m or something um yeah that can you know obviously Good times. make it challenging um but yeah so uh yeah i mean we met at work uh, we no longer work together um but we met at work and just kind of through a budding friendship decided yeah let's make a youtube channel and i had always like wanted to make a youtube channel and on my old one i had actually started to do a let's play of like the original witcher i think on mm -hmm. pc um but that was also back when i was following some more niche let's players that have a very specific style that's Mm -hmm. it's more enjoyable if you play games and are interested in like the story and that kind of thing and like yeah. that's what you want out of a let's play but it's not very watchable in the sense that like you watch it and enjoy it because oh haha ha, funny or anything like yeah, that. yeah it's not it's not about the personalities and it's about the game yeah like which is which totally fine yeah i mean it, it and i i mimicked that quite a bit um mm -hmm. Mainly because, like, I was like, okay, you know, The Witcher's going to be, like, a very story-oriented game. Um, so I want people to be able to get that value out of it if that's what they want. And yeah, that, so that's what I did. I think I only got, like, three episodes into it before I ran out of time. Because <laughs> that YouTube channel was done uh, before I got the job where you and I met. Mm -hmm. And it was... Uh, and then, you, yeah. It, it you... was during a, like, four and a half five month maybe period of unemployment so yeah you're just like i have all the time in the world i get to do whatever the fuck i want yeah and it was like right after the xbox one came out so yeah. i was like <laughs> doing game reviews and shit they weren't very popular my most popular review was like some news video or not review but my most popular video was some like news video talking about um shit what was it called the, the metal gear solid 5 like preview game basically mm -hmm. um whatever that was uh it was phantom it was like pain i think or no phantom ground, was ground zeros that's what ground it was zero. there you go um it, it was basically a video about like you know giving the news and then kind of giving my thoughts about that um about the fact that like it was you know 
being charged like 30 40 dollars something like that um yeah and i was like that's kind of ridiculous because if it's only like a two-hour experience like i don't care if they're time trials and everything it's like the same yeah map and everything and that got like a thousand views or something so nice yeah it, it, it that type of reaction out of news videos has always made me wonder if like we should do news videos but like i feel like yeah. that's very you know things specific. happen yeah um I, i've been thinking about that as well now that with like our new release schedule which by the way we forgot to mention at the beginning of last podcast in this one but there's a new release schedule podcast monday wednesday and then another then, video on friday yeah um yeah no before let's see it was like high school college time i had a youtube channel where i did machinima videos um like actual like machinima videos not whatever machinima is turned into um yeah but yeah. like actually so like, like more scripted like story red versus blue kind of stuff yeah. blue stuff they're not good they're good, like <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're not it's um, understandable and but like it was a lot of fun and then i kind of like i just ran out of time and like i it was one of those things where like i didn't have enough like people who were willing to act in order to like really do like to really like, have anything to improve upon like it was like oh well, i can make i can make videos but like i can't like really improve the quality of the voice acting so like is there really a point um yeah. but yeah so did that for a while and then i was like oh i can transition into uh just making some like gears videos maybe like i did try like my hand at like a couple tutorials but they weren't very good yeah um nothing like what i did like they were basically like you know talking to the mic for like 10 minutes i think one of them was like i think it was like how to improve a gears of war and the like the first video was like be honest with yourself like if you if you suck you gotta know that you suck so that like you can <laughs> you can fix what you're doing Jesus. wrong i mean obviously Scott i didn't say it like that but like <laughs> I didn't say it like that, but that was basically the. I think the yeah. I think the title was honesty. It was, it was bad. It was just bad. So I didn't do that again. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So it. So you know, it, like obviously, like we both had had interest in a long time. So we decided to make the YouTube channel. Yeah. And we we started with uh, Let's Plays, and. We released a Let's Play. I think there was a couple days that we did not release Let's Plays because we released something else. But for the most part, in 365 days, I think we probably released like 360 Let's Plays or something like that. And like the other five days, we released something else. Are you talking That's about... The... Uh... I think because like, I think before the end of the year... year? No, for our first year, we released like nearly 400 videos like we were well above and beyond oh shit you're right because because for a while we did like the solo, solo couch oh god like yep. my layers of fear videos which i i still find enjoyable to watch my reactions they were but... they're, they're funny <laughs> and then fuck it, god emily wants to play i i still that game is now deleted still never <laughs> finished it and i read like what the last like hour or whatever was supposed mm -hmm. to be and i there's no fucking way i would ever finish that because like the like hours like midnight one o'clock two o'clock and three o'clock are basically just ramping up um different enemies and everything mm -hmm. um and then four o'clock is when you play hide and seek with emily which mm -hmm. was fucking terrifying because i didn't know what the fuck was going on um and apparently if you beat that which i did eventually um and then i never went back to the game apparently if you beat that you then have to do hide and seek with all of the other toys like coming after you and shit which would be Yay. like i barely beat fucking uh the hide and seek yeah. with emily as it was because it was like you know i've checked like every fucking spot she can be in like twice where the hell is she <laughs> so yeah anyways 
that's a random derailment. But yeah, no, it was just, uh, yeah, so we did that, and we kind of, you know, we both, I think we got, like, burnt out. Obviously, like, video yeah, a day uh, was a lot of work. It, it like, really I'm, was. And I'm really proud that we did it, though. Like, I don't regret it, because um, I think that's an accomplishment. Sure. And we got really good. I think we got really good at Let's Plays uh, towards the last, like, three months. Yeah. I mean, it. I feel like it definitely helped us exponentially improve and, you yeah. know, be more comfortable with being on camera and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. And, I mean, right now we obviously don't have any Let's Plays going on, and I don't think any of this even has face cam ever, so... Um, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I... I mean, yeah, we don't have any. We obviously we don't have any let's plays going on right now because we postponed those. Because uh, even though we got better, no one really watched, and yeah. we were still putting a lot of effort in. And uh, you know, these podcasts and the other videos are just performing much better. Like, yeah, because usually like a let's play might get like five views or whatever. Like maybe if we're lucky, we reach ten. But now like our podcast, well, <laughs> like I think. Most Let's Plays, if they got to five, that was worth celebrating. <laughs> yeah, we were like, what? Yeah, like but, 10 uh, was like, oh my god, someone like actually watched it. Even though the yeah. retention time's only like 25%. <laughs> but we got we got it in front of someone's face. Um, but like with Ben's, you know, Skyrim videos, they're getting like a thousand views pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that Skyrim goes on sale soon and I'll, I'll go ahead and pick that up. I mean, and you could just fucking pick it up anyways. Could. I don't like the, I, I can't. You don't have to get the fucking special edition or whatever the hell it's called. The Isn't remaster. Sure I mean, if you want to be like Xbox mods, then yeah. But if you wanted to do PC mods and everything, then you can just go on Steam, buy like the old version of it for like five bucks or something. Well, that still has to go on sale again. You had to be a scrub to buy Skyrim on PC for full price. Just How saying. is it? What? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, you're, um, you're being ridiculous. Anyway, um, but yeah. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much the story of the YouTube channel. We did a lot of work. Didn't get a lot out of it. Like we, like we got a lot of personal stuff out of it. Like I feel, I feel much more confident in like speaking and everything. Than I did at the beginning and all of that, so I don't like I don't regret any of it. But you know we had to change our uh, our content, and now we're here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, <laughs> So let's see, we've been friends for over two years now, right? Uh, something like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Because, I mean, we were friends for Time flies. a while before we started the YouTube channel. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I guess, like, I started working there December 2014, Right? Was, uh, yeah, it was that 2014. sounds right, yeah. Yeah, um, and then I was there for a year and a few months and moved on to other things. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. And, and then we started the channel uh, February last year. Yep, I think it was February and, 15th. Yeah, something like that. Yep. It's been two years. Yeah. Two Two very long years. <laughs> very, very long years, yes. It's actually been... Time has flown. Oh, yeah, and we live together, for those who don't know. Yeah, for now. Um, Mainly because, yeah. you know, the economy and housing market in the area sucks. <sighs> sucks. Major, major dildo. Yeah. Except, it, uh, it like, does. for those of you that don't know, um, I originate from the Midwest, in Indiana specifically. And out there... Um, my, uh, parents live in a house that is in a, 
a, a more prestigious area. Um, like, it, it's definitely not, like, a bad neighborhood or anything like that. Um, is prestigious and, the right word? Well-to-do, well-off, I don't... I mean, sure. it is prestigious for Indiana. Upper, upper middle class, I don't, like... Oh, no, prestigious Def is it is l basically, like, the rich white capital of Indiana. Okay. Um, my... <laughs> but... Uh, we don't we don't fit into that, um, but that's where my parents um, decided to have us like grow up and everything because they wanted the best for us and all that kind of stuff. It didn't matter that they had to you know bend over backwards and break their backs in order to have it work, yeah. but um, that's irrelevant. Anyways, um, so we come from there, and out there like you can rent, you know, like a, a fourteen hundred square foot ranch house or something for you know, maybe like a thousand bucks a month. And again, this is like in a very nice neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. Out here in the greater Seattle area, you would be fucking getting a great deal if you found even a 400 square foot studio for a thousand bucks a month. Yep. And <laughs> that, that still kind of boggles my mind. Like I, I have a coworker who uh, just recently purchased a house in a less affluent area for this area um, mm -hmm. and it was a three hundred thousand dollar house um it's not very big like maybe 1500 square feet not that big of a lawn or anything and again it's not like a super great neighborhood or anything and in like the five or six months that he's owned it his house's value has gone up by about 50 grand yep and he's done nothing to it like he's yep. literally just owned the house and it's increased in value. But yep. anyways, we're getting way off topic. I mean, you know, I'm, if people care, right? Viper the Red cares. I he, mean, he, he's, if, our, that, he's he asked the question. He knew that we were going to ramble. He's listened to the podcast. Yeah, he knows that we're not going to stay on topic. <laughs> he, he's our number one fan. <laughs> Smitty oh, War, man Warbur man Jensen. He was number one. He was number one. <laughs> Um, Anyways, I, I feel like that's that's I mean, enough I'm pretty, rambling for pretty now. much covers. Um, anyway, yeah, um, we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time on Split Couch Games. If you guys have any questions or anything you want us to talk about, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye.